I hope you're ready to break down some defenders bad. I'm going to show you a Kyrie Irving move. You can learn in minutes to beat your defender pretty much no matter what. The move itself, that's kind of only half of it. It's not going to work really well if you don't have these counter moves that I'm going to give you to be really worth anything. So here's what the move is. Kyrie will do this a lot when he gets a lot of momentum coming towards the defender, but you can also do this from more of a standstill. He'll do it that way from time to time. I do it that way a lot. And all you're gonna do is make it look like your first step, like you're trying to come past your defender. And those keys are really important. You want this to look like you're going past your defender number one with how you execute. So you wanna step long and quick with that first step. That's gonna make it seem like, okay, yeah, I'm trying to go past my defender, because typically if I'm gonna go past my defender, that's the step I'm gonna take, because now I got this leg shielding the basketball for protection. Kyrie does this a ton with his first step when he actually goes past his defender, so mentally they're like, okay, yeah, he's trying to get past me. Second tip you have to pay attention to is you've gotta get into their space. So try to get like within an inch of their foot on this side, or even with it, or even past it. If you can get past it, they're gonna go flying like nasty. Third tip, you gotta get the chest low when you get planted and bend that knee torso sways, my hips move forward, I've got more of my weight on this front leg where it's bent. That's gonna help sell that last second fake to keep them going that way, right as we're about to stop on a dime and pull the ball back. Kyrie does this a ton, okay? So he'll come from this, and a lot of times he'll kind of square that second foot up a little bit, or he'll just kind of naturally slide with, but sometimes he'll do it more where that back leg stays put a little bit more, and he's kind of comes from this into more of a split stance. The counter moves I'm gonna give you in this video are gonna focus on that. If you wanna see more options from the squared stance, leave me a comment, say I wanna see them and I'll try to get you a video for it. So the first and most obvious thing you got from this is going into a jump shot, right? So if you're coming from more of this split stance, you have two ways of going about it. You can quickly, and you gotta quickly, step forward with that second foot to rise into that shot. But I prefer the second option I'm gonna show you because if you notice, that kind of brings me back into that space that I just created for my defender. So I created space and then literally walked right into it. So what I would want to do is take this step, keep that back foot planted, and then step back with that same foot that stepped forward. Now I'm creating more separation. So one of the best things you could do is try to hit them with that because that'll open up the rest of these options a lot better. So get into a range. If like 15 feet, you know you can make the shot, get this move off into that 15 foot range. If you can't hit it from the three point line, don't do this move from the three point line because then it's going to be hard for you to set up all the other options. And even if you do it like 15 feet the first time, you might be able to get away with setting up these counter moves further out the next few times just because they saw you hit that shot once and they're naturally going to react to your body looking the same way, doing the same thing. Your next option is going to be from that stepping back so it looks like you could shoot again blow by them, right? Because they're probably going to try to close that gap after you hit that jumper that one time. So they're going to be like taking off flying here, planting hard, trying to jump towards you. They're going this way, you're going this way, you're going to beat them so bad. A lot of times when they're trying to make that quick direction change from this way back this way, you'll actually get guys to fall. Kyrie's got a few guys like that. So coming upright just a brief second, doesn't even have to be a great shot fake hezzy. I get guys with it all the time, just kind of coming like this and going. It's not a long hezzy. And then there's variations you'll want to have in the mix. The first is this, to come from this, come back, make it look like you're going to shoot again, and if they close the gap but they're too far to this side, cross over. The way you do that cross is huge though, so you want to come upright and have your body kind of facing 45 degree angles this way, so as your defender closes out, you're not facing this way and pushing the ball right into him, you could be facing this way to push the ball forward and keep it tight to your belly, I call this a belly cross, so you'd want to have it just barely brush your belly almost, not quite hit it, but I like to tap my belly on the release. So I know the ball is going to end up tight and kind of that way where they're not going to get to it. So all together that would look like this. Notice I also bring that offhand up to the basketball to kind of sell like a little shot fake heavy. Your next option is going to throw everything off. We're going to change things up because all those first options, we're stepping back, we're stepping back, we're stepping back, right? To shoot, to drive, or to crossover. This one, we're going to stop here and go right into a crossover back forward to throw them off. So they're like, okay, yeah. He always steps back, I know what's coming. I'm gonna try to jump it and come back. And if they're a little bit too far to this side, boom, just keep that foot planted, keep the ball low. Big tip is to catch the ball down low. So make sure your hand is inches from the ground, waiting to catch the basketball the second it comes off the ground, like within a millimeter of it touching the ground, boom, your hand's on it so you can push it right back forward. That's gonna throw their timing off, okay? So here, push, and just bring that back leg forward to start going. This one, we're just gonna change one little thing. We're gonna step here, just like we always were, but last time we came back this way, right? A lot of times when you're selling this fake this way, they're gonna be already on this side, so it's gonna be tough to kinda try to get this off on this side. So all we're gonna do is change that crossover direction. All of them were pulling the ball back, pulling the ball back, 
pulling the ball back, right? This one, we're gonna change it by pulling the ball sideways, like your typical between the leg. But since my body's positioned this way, it's gonna put it around the defender where I can get past them this way, since they're probably gonna be more on that side to begin with. So I would hit them with this, boom, kind of shuffle the feet across. It's gonna be kind of an awkward position and definitely something you should practice. All these things are something you should practice. Also practice working on these crossover moves from it. That's what's gonna give you unlimited options. Add those to the end of this. I'll see you in this video next.